This video is going to show you how to resolve an Ethereum name service name to your Ethereum address. It's actually quite easy. Most addresses look like this on the Ethereum blockchain. You go to etherscan.io in the directory address, and then you type in your address. So if you wanted somebody to send you funds to this address to increase your dollar 63, then you copy this and you send them this address and then they can click send ether and it will go to this address and it pops in right here. But you can also have uh, just like a domain uh, points to an IP address and ETH name and ENS. So a dot ETH name will po point directly to an ether address of your choice. So you can see this doesn't point to anything. I know that I own that one. I'm going to go here. Uh, these are really popular because there's an auction going on on OpenSea. All of these under seven character are going off right now for, you know, the highest bidder. And Amazon went for, I think, 50 Ether, something crazy like that. So you come to Ethereum name service and you scroll down a little bit. Click on manage your domains. Once you buy the domain on OpenSea, it pops into your wallet right here. And you can see my DDD address ddd so this could also end up saying chrisbell.eth because it points directly to this address so you can just replace it anywhere hopefully soon wherever you want so spike ball my ddd address is here ddd and i actually well no i have a bunch of addresses here so i'm just going to grab an address and i'll show you uh, I'll click on this one, this A, copied, let's go here, spike ball, I'm going to replace it with this address and then point spike ball to it and come back here and type in spike ball and it should work just fine, 83 and it ends in 66, it's still $1.62, so let's go back to spike ball here, um, so you can see that my address changed here, this is the address that I'm in right now, and this DDD address is the controller of this domain. So I cannot use this to control what's going on right now and change it to Spikeball. I need to go back to my other address and then type in Spikeball one more time. No, nope, I don't have to type it in. So this is the registrant and the controller. Now I'm the controller. I've signed in with my private key. I'm going to set this resolver. Uh, this is just saying this name because I was playing with this earlier. So use public resolver. Click that. Save. This is setting up the smart contract so that you can send funds to one spot and then it points to another spot. Smart contract is a protocol that basically answers the requests that come in. And every time you send money to that name, it knows to forward it directly to that address. So I just signed my MetaMask. This is setting up the smart contract. You can see it's just a random address. This is the address that I'm going to have it sent to. You can see the 766 at the end. So I'm going to copy this now. And once this transaction goes through, I sped it up, so it should go pretty quick. Um, once this transaction goes through, if you're not familiar with MetaMask, you know, or that familiar with it, you can always click on this before, while it's in queue, or while it's not, and you can click right here, and it says go to EtherScan, and that's where we are right now. It'll show you the transaction, it will show you it's a success, or that it's pending. So there you go, success. And it shows you everything that happened there. It's all encrypted. All these things are encrypted. So now you want to add one record. Hit this plus sign. Select a record, an address. You want to send this to an Ethereum address. Enter Ethereum name or address. So I can put in chrisbell.eth and it pulls up my DDD address. See how cool this is? So I'm actually going to type in this address because I want it to go to this address, which is this one up here, ends in 766. So let's save this. This is the second MetaMask transaction that you have to do. You had to set up the smart contract first and now you're sending this in and the smart contract is saying when money comes to this address forward it to this address so i'm going to click on it this time so we have a second brings you right to the transaction you can see it's a tx directory instead of address directory on etherscan all of these are the transactions that go through this is a um, encrypted hash of 
this address and this address and um, all the transactions that have gone on before this transaction. So every time there's a new transaction on the blockchain, it connects to the last transaction by taking the characters from the last and the characters from this and then mushing them together and then encrypting that, which is why you get a blockchain of link after link after link and how it can never be broken in the middle because everything after and before it is encrypted to it in a long chain. The longer the chain gets, the stronger the blockchain gets. So the bigger the network, the stronger the chain. All right, so both of those have been refreshed. Let's refresh this whole thing, make sure it looks good. Spike ball, this is the owner. This is the resolver, which is resolving or a protocol that sends it to this address right here. And we are done, two transactions. One, use that um, public resolver. Two, set up this address. This was the address right here, $1.62, don't forget that. Six tokens right in here, Decentraland, um, BLS, my name. Of course, I created my own token. I'm a loser, don't worry about it. Spikeball.eth. Oh, come on. Spike Bell. Ah, <laughs> Spike ball, it works. A83, 766, I was confused. Um, so, it goes into this address from now on, and now, like I was showing you before, you can start using this, um, like on my Ether wallet. Let's go to myetherwallet.com. It was that quick because everything's on the blockchain. You don't have to wait for a central service to start kicking things back to you anymore. This is on the blockchain. You have to wait for that MetaMask transaction. And once it posts, everything should be immediate. You shouldn't have to wait. Like I was waiting for a couple seconds there, but at the same time I said in my mind, this is on the blockchain. So it either happened or it didn't happen because when your MetaMask transaction is confirmed, that means the blockchain has been hit and that's it. So um, if it's not working at that point, you shouldn't have to sit around and wait or refresh or restart your computer. It should be working. So you know right there that something went wrong. And I had typed in spike bell instead of spike ball. So obviously something went wrong. All right. So you come to my Ether wallet, sign into MetaMask again. Um, getting into MetaMask when you're using Ether is very important. You have all kinds of tokens that you keep inside your Ethereum wallet right here. You keep all these tokens here. So this is like your own account. It's encrypted. I don't have to sign in with my own name, my email, anything. You get your own address for $5.025 Ether and you have it forwarding to your name. You come to this website, you get to play around. You sign into all kinds of websites with MetaMask and you start playing around on the blockchain. This is a lot of fun. Dapps. Um... What am I doing? Dashboard, I'm trying to send money. Send Ethereum amount one whole Ethereum two address spike ball boom a eighty three seven sixty six. You can see now you don't have to remember this address anymore. You don't have to copy and paste this anymore. You can just tell someone. Don't actually accidentally type in spike bell, but give them spike ball and just send them to that address from now on you're good to go you can also create subdomains um, so you can say like wallet one dot and you uh, have to resolve and do all of that all over again but you can have wallet one wallet two spike ball spike ball spike ball so if you had your own name uh, or you had a family name uh, bell which is an expensive one, but if you wanted it, and then you could have subdomains with all your family members, you could do the same thing with Amazon and then pay all of your employees, uh, have every single employee name here, kind of like email addresses that just grow and grow and grow inside the company, but you can actually pay money very, very, very quickly with this. I can take this, if you create this tomorrow and you're in Japan, I can, the very next second after you created it and plopped it on the blockchain, I can send money to it from here all the way out in New Hampshire in the USA, I can send you money in less than a minute. So this is the power of the blockchain and encrypted protocols. It's very, very cool. Enjoy.